Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a printer via the IP address in Windows 10. So if we just click on the folder icon at the bottom and in the top long white bar we're going to type control panel and click on control panel here. Now you can see a few icons, so we want to see more than this so we can see devices and printers, so click category from the drop down menu, select small icons, and as you can see, we've got a lot more icons. So now look for devices and printers and click this once. And we want to go to add printer. <clears throat> now, if you know the name of the printer you want to add, it will pop up here. So in this scenario, we're going to just select this Rego printer here, and we're going to click Next. It's going to find the driver automatically and install it on your system. If not, it will ask for a system disk or a driver disk that come with the printer. OK. This option will say, do you want to set it as your default? We're going to select no, just in case you've got more than one printer, and click finish. Now, if we click on the printer, right click, drop down menu, and select print properties, this will bring up a different menu. <clears throat> And here you can change the name or anything you want or any other settings. Click on ports and you'll see that it's automatically installed um, a default port for Windows. So it hasn't installed the IP address. It's set a print port. Now, sometimes when you print into this print port, it can be really slow. So ideally, you want to add it via the IP address of the printer. So if you know this, this is how you do it. So we'll cancel this, <clears throat> click on the printer, remove device. Yes. And this is only if you experience really slow printing. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add a printer the same way. And we, we know it's already there, but we've added it the old way and you get in prints and they're taking forever to come out. So we're going to say, the printer that I wanted isn't listed. And we're going to select add a printer using TCP IP address or host name and click next. And now we're going to type the IP address of the printer. And then we're going to click next. <clears throat> And it's going to say, do you want to use the driver you installed earlier? Well, it's the same driver. We're just adding it in a different way. So click Next. And we can give it a name. And we can just, at the end, we can put Direct. So we know we're printing directly to the printer, the IP address of the printer. <clears throat> we don't want to share this. We just want to add it to our computer. If you did share this, when your computer's on, other laptops on the network would see it and try and add it off your laptop. So we don't want to do that. We just want to put do not share and click next. We don't want to set it as default because we might be adding another one and click finish. OK, so we can see it's installed. So if we right click now with the right mouse button, Select Properties from the drop-down menu, and then go to Ports. We can see now, if I just scroll down a bit, it's now printing direct to the printer. So it won't print to a virtual port on your laptop or your computer and then print to the printer. It'll print directly to the printer after it's finished. So the minute you click Print, it will send it direct to the printer based on this IP address. Obviously, if this changes, you need to change this in these settings, but generally they don't.
So click OK. And that's how you add a printer in Windows 10 or Server 2016, 2019. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.